Hello everyone, uh, welcome in the next video tutorial of uh, online movie ticket booking project in ASP.NET Core. So this uh, video tutorial hold the information about the cards. So first of all, if uh, you are uh, stay on the view, then uh, you can submit the details. If your cart is empty, then proper masses respond to the same view, then you can master to use the temp data. Temp data is uh, only way to use when your request generated that view and written back to the same view then you can use temp data other than you can use the view bag as well as the data dictionary uh, and uh, any other uh, things you can use it here or you can use uh, any other variables and the next thing you can do in this uh, video tutorial that is proceed if your cart having some details uh, like the your cart ha, uh, have three movie tickets booking uh, three uh, movie tickets and you want to proceed for the payment details then you can design the proceed method for this line okay so proceed uh, things uh, uh, working on when view generated that proceed then asp.net core uh, handle the proceed action method and first of all you can check the card details if the card detail is empty then uh, on the specific user so you must to add the user manager class to get only those user who uh, authenticate in the uh, website so you can pick the user manager class and current user by using the http context class okay so uh, the http context class uh, written the uh, current user who logged in the system and the cart list i mean to say that um, only those uh, tickets retrieve according to the user id so if there is nothing in the cart then uh, return to the redirect to action that is cart empty cart empty is the index method you can say that that is above method cart empty where your cart is empty and uh, give the name to the uh, controller okay so now if you want uh, to move to the next section uh, if uh, your cart is not empty then move to the next section that is proceed so uh, the thing is design written view that is cart list in the proceed method okay so uh, the thing is uh, very clear uh, okay so first of all uh, you can check uh, the cart list dot count is zero then return redirect to action that is above um, mention method that is cart empty and uh, give the name to the controller that is cart t and in the next um, things that is else section if cart dot count is not empty if cart dot count is not zero is not equals to zero then redirect to action return to view uh, with the cart list and the cart list uh, we have a particular user and uh, move to the next section that is proceed and um, thank you very much for uh, watching this video and keep watching the next video tutorial of related to the views and delete action method thank you very much for watching this